Welcome to this video. Uh, this is another video request about how to make assemblies and how to put parts that you make individually uh, in SolidWorks together into one big assembly. So uh, for the sake of example, I'm going to uh, put together a piston rod assembly and go through uh, what all of that entails. So the first thing to do is uh, click that new button and say assembly instead of part. Now we're in assembly. You'll notice your top menu is a little bit different and it wants you immediately to import parts. So I'm going to say browse and wherever you save your individual parts you can pull that file off. So I'm going to start off with a piston and put that down. And this is a piston that I've modeled in SolidWorks um, to go into a straight six engine. It was a lot of fun to make. Uh, if I go ahead and say insert components, browse, I can insert another one. I'm going to insert the wrist pin that goes through the piston. Uh, this is another thing that I modeled. It was much easier <laughs> to model. But there's a wrist pin, and then I'm going to, well, not mate, I'm going to insert a connecting rod. If I can remember uh, which connect, that's our connecting rod right there. So there's a connecting rod. I'll go ahead and get started with these. Um, right now. So first thing is I want to make a relationship between all of these parts so SolidWorks knows how they go together. You know when you uh, are dimensioning a part and you add constraints till something is fully constrained? Same idea here. Um, what I want to do is I want to put this pin through this piston and have SolidWorks know that it belongs there. Well how I do that is I make a mate between two parts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this wrist pin and it belongs in this inner cylinder right here. So I'm going to push control and highlight this face and then I'm going to click mate. And SolidWorks selects co-centric which means that the center of the circular face and the center of this circular face are the same. And that's exactly what I want. You can also say tangent and, um, and you'll have a completely different relationship. It doesn't want me to demonstrate, demonstrate that right now. But I'll click Cocentric and check. And you can see the uh, kind of relationship that it has now. I, however I move it, it stays in the center of that, uh, of that piston. Now, I want to make a relationship so that I know that this pin will stay where it needs to be right there. I don't want this pin to be able to move out here. I want to constrain it. And in order to do that, I'm going to insert the pin that goes on the wrist pin, which I have a, uh, I don't want to made, I want to insert components. I have redundantly named that part the wrist pin pin. And I'm going to make a uh, relationship so that this wrist pin can be held in place. I uh, made it with a very flat face right here. So I'm going to select this very flat part. And I'm going to say that this flat face and this face right here, when I push mate, are going to be cocentric. Check. Excellent. So now, however I move this, it's going to stay cocentric with this wrist pin. So now I want it to stay in this groove right here. How do I do that? Select this. And when I select, well, let's see if I can get a somewhat decent view here. My solid work seems to be running kind of slow today. So now you can see that SolidWorks doesn't think of these as solids and this pin is on the inside of this wrist pin right now. So tangent is correct but I want to swap it. And in, in order to swap it, there we go. Now that's right, so I'll go ahead and accept that. SolidWorks is still running slowly here. When I run a 
big screen recorder and a big SolidWorks file, it kind of bogs down. So now I've got this uh, wrist pin that will rotate around the wrist. All right, I, I should be more clear. I've got this wrist pin pin that will rotate around the wrist pin. <laughs> now what I want to do is I'm going to select four different faces because I want this wrist pin, not the wrist pin pin, but the wrist pin, if I'm making any sense, to stay. So I'm going to select the two outside faces of the wrist pin. And then I'm going to select any two inside faces that are symmetrical or equidistant apart. And then I'm going to pull up the mate again. And mate will say, hey, I've got four faces selected. I'm going to automatically default to width. So it's saying I'm going to have this face and this face have the same distance as this face and this far face. So it's a good way to center things. I'm going to accept that. Perfect. Once again, sorry, SolidWorks likes to be bogged down when I'm recording and solid modeling at the same time. So then I can go ahead and put a uh, wrist pin pin on this side. I'm not going to for the sake of time. You've already seen me do it on one side. And then now let's go ahead and see if we can put this uh, connecting rod on the wrist pin. As you can imagine, that's going to be uh, co-centric as well. And notice I don't have a complete circle to make co-centric, but if I choose just this little sliver of a circle, and I say that that little sliver and this face are both co-centric, as you'll see in Mate. Mate go ahead and says, oh, okay, yeah, I see that's a radius, so I can make that co-centric. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to say I want this face and this face to touch. I'll go ahead and accept that. Now I've got something that will rock back and forth. As you can see, it's just a matter of uh, making different relationships between um, parts. Um, you can start to see exactly how uh, how easy it is to start modeling and getting relationships into SolidWorks. This is once again a real basic, basic overview of how to um, create assemblies and make your parts start working together in SolidWorks. So I hope this has been uh, beneficial. If you have any questions, you can go facebook.com slash Engineering, post a question on our wall, and we'll be happy to answer it for you. I'm about uh, running out of time, but if you have any more questions or more technical detail that you're looking at, just post a question and we'll uh, get to it. Thanks and have a great day. See you next time. And please remember to subscribe if this was helpful because that's the best way to help me too. See you next time.